verbal section, sentence correction, the difference between the preposition, despite, and the conjunction, although. At the first glance, these two words are completely interchangeable. However, this similarity refers rather to their intended meaning than their grammatical use. The thing is, from the grammatical point of view, the word despite, is a preposition. By definition, the preposition is the part of speech which is used in the so-called preposition, that is before a noun. The noun that immediately follows a preposition is always in the objective case, which means it cannot perform the role of a subject. Since there can be no subject after the preposition, despite, it must be followed either by a separate noun or a noun phrase. To put simply, do not use an entire clause immediately after despite. The conjunction, although, on the other hand, serves to combine two simple sentences into one compound. This necessitates the use of at least two different clauses, that is subject-verb pairs, along with this conjunction. In other words, although must be used with a complete subject-verb pair immediately after it. Now take a look at the following practice question. Try to choose the correct option keeping in mind the difference between the preposition, despite, and the conjunction, although. Option A is the correct answer. Options B and D erroneously use a subject-verb pair after the preposition, despite. Options C and E fail to provide a full clause after the conjunction, although. 